As we continue to celebrate black history by telling stories in our RVA series, this week we want to honor the Richmond 34. This Saturday will mark 60 years since the famous protest by the group. So we wanted to let a few of those members share their experience from that day in history, one which played a significant step in the fight for civil rights here in the city. Everything that we do now in the city of Richmond is a byproduct of that day. February 22nd, 1960. We knew that we had to do something. We had to speak truth to evil. We had to speak truth to unjust laws. We had to speak truth to power, which was perpetuating that. And that's what we did. 2020 marks the 60th anniversary of when a group of Virginia Union University students stood up for civil rights to help end segregation by sitting down at a whites-only lunch counter inside of Tallheimer's. That group is better known as the Richmond 34. We went in there, sat around the counter, of course we got all the negativity and they closed the counter while we were there and, and uh, we didn't, no one said a word. We weren't there very long before management came and approached us and told us that we had to leave because we were trespassing. If you don't leave, you're gonna be arrested. And I said, well, I'm not gonna leave right now. So they arrested me. All 34 of them were arrested and charged with trespassing. I was the first on the first floor to be arrested. And I sat in that padded wagon for a long time, seemingly to me. The students were then taken to jail, but released shortly after their bail was posted thanks to community members who contributed, as well as VUU Vice President at the time, Dr. Alex James, who put up his house as collateral. As we were ushered out, we heard all this, this pandemonium and, and noise outside. People were doing like this and giving us the high five. And I looked down the block and there were people from block to block. What was yeah. that moment like when you hear the whole crowd? It was reassuring that what we were doing was right. It was reassuring that what we were doing was going to make a difference. The Richmond 34 were convicted and fined, but appealed the ruling. It wasn't until 1965, five years later, that all the charges were ultimately dismissed. They would learn decades later that since no resolution to their cases had ever been filed, their criminal records were never expunged. However, thanks to a collective effort by local community and government leaders, those records were finally expunged on the 59th anniversary of their sit-in. It was an awesome feeling. I tell family and I tell friends and I tell young people, uh, you don't know how good it felt not to have a cloud hanging over your head, even though I didn't know it was hanging over my head. Richmond 34 who were brave individuals and souls. Thanks to a proclamation by Mayor LeVar Stoney last year, February 22nd has been declared Richmond 34 Day to serve as a reminder of what this group accomplished by protesting. I don't have to worry about if I go into this particular restaurant, can I sit down or not sit down to eat? I just go in and we all sit down. One individual and all of us can make a difference. It doesn't take, all, it doesn't take 34 to make a difference. I realized that one person can make a difference. Yeah, all three preached that message that one person can make a difference, but it actually started out with 200 students who decided that day to walk down to Tulsheimer's and raise a protest, and it ended up being 34 of them actually walking in into the counter and starting that sit-in and waiting for the police to get arrested. Mm. In those pictures, what strikes me is how composed and mm -hmm. mature and calm. strong right, and yeah. calm they all look. And determined students. Focus. Yeah, well, they must have been terrified. Well, Virginia Union always had a lot of civil rights leaders come to the to the university, and Martin Luther King had visited and always uh, preached the nonviolence. You know, non guided non them Yeah, this. and it was always like, hey, it's, let's be peaceful, and that's the attitude and the mantra that they took down there. And like they said, that 
It was something that they knew that they had to do, and if they had not done it, who knows where we would be mm -hmm. today. So it took one individual person and then all of those individuals banding together. Pretty yep. special. Absolutely. Bravery. Yeah. 60 years. And the house up is collateral by the president. I did <laughs> yeah. not know that.